thank you so much for meeting me over here at the Geyer Barn, Matt. My Very pleasure. excited to talk about this this year's Senior Art Show. Uh, what can you tell us about the event? Um, well, it's uh, it's been going on for decades now, and it's a great opportunity for the students at Barnstable High School uh, in the art department to show off what they've made all year long. So um, it's a great event. We have uh, tons of people show up, and the kids love it. It's an opportunity for them to sort of complete that circle and all these pieces that they made and worked so hard on, they get to show them off and, and see what people think of them. So It great. must help to uh, just learning how what it's like to set up an exhibit, oh, yeah. uh, to uh, interact with attendees during the exhibit. So it kind of gives them another side of the art world too, uh, more than just creating art. Oh, absolutely. And it's a huge part of um, any any artist, anybody who's working with the public needs to go through that process of putting all the little pieces together that make a show, uh, from PR to, um, to hanging the show itself, to labeling, to um, telling the story with labels and, and coming up with signage that, that makes sense of the exhibit for people. All those little things help the students um, figure out how you would tell their story, the story of their work. And then when you have some people, you know, you have the public coming in to take a look at it, you get to see how that story gets told and they get to um, talk to people, tell them about what they did, about what it means to them. Um, so it's, it's one of our, you know, it's like the jewel of the department. It's one of our most uh, important nights of the year. I would think that teaching art would be such a great experience because so many That's times awesome. I, I would think it would be a less pressure class. Not to say that they're not learning a lot, but it really does allow them some uh, a chance to express themselves, uh, maybe even uh, work through some things through their art. Do you see that happening and a lot of students really getting into art and enjoying the class? Well, it's a, I'd say a little bit of both because um, art at um, Barstable High School is a requirement for them to graduate. So um, we do take the credit seriously and it's a serious class that they um, are expected to do um, a curriculum for. But at the same time, it is always a, um, a personal experience for the kids and uh, it's an opportunity for them to um, find a little piece of their individuality and try to express that through art. So absolutely, a little bit of both, I would say. And there's been some great events uh, throughout the year that are going to be sort of included in this exhibit. Uh, one I'm thinking of is the interaction uh, that the students had with the JFK Museum. Such a cool project. Some of that work will be on display during this art show. That was a great show and a great collaboration with another local institution. Um, so what happened there was we had our fine arts students uh, visit the JFK Museum and get kind of a behind the scenes look at what goes into curating an exhibit there and what um, what some of the back back room kind of operations of, of the museum are. They got to take a look at a number of different artifacts that were in their um, in their collection there. And then from that experience the students curated uh, a show. So they picked the artifacts that were personally connected to them that they felt a connection with. So they, they gathered a bunch of different information from the museum and then they made a response piece. So we have a number of different pieces that the students have made that, um, that show their personal connection with the material they saw at JFK. A real wide range of work and it really shows off. Um, I guess it's kind of cool that you see how many aspects of that museum and of JFK's life uh, still resonate with students today. So that show will, will be included at the Senior Art Show. And I was chatting with you just a, a bit before we started our interview today about the show, and one thing you told me is they're actually going to have virtual reality here. Oh, yeah. And kids <laughs> created their own virtual yeah. reality to share with everybody. It's one of the real advantages of having a strong um, technology department at the, um, at the school as well, or technology available to the students. Um, this year we had um, our animation students create a uh, virtual reality environment within um, a virtual reality machine called the Vive. It's, it's really cool, very convincing when you put on the headset. It's not, um, you're there when you go in there. And so they made an entire um, sort of magic forest that you can interact with. There's a, sh a little magic shop you can go into and it's really pretty cool and a great experience for them to get to work on um, new technology, it was neat going through the process, a bunch of the software we were, we were using was being updated as like week by week as we were working with them. So we'd, they'd be like, ah, I wish we could do this with this software. And Google would, would do, update it the next week and they'd be like, oh, perfect, great, now we can. Thanks, Google. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Google. <laughs> and then... Uh, it's like the, you heard us. <laughs> I, they're listening, they're listening. Um, the, uh, the other cool thing about that project is all the hardware um, was constructed by a VHS student. 
So it was a nice uh, connection between the um, technology help desk student and our animation students to create a really cool um, environment. So that'll be here as well. And then also, uh, we also have to talk about cartoon uh, work. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, that portion of the show. Well, we are lucky in the department to have, uh, we have filmmaking and we also have animation as uh, course offerings for the students. So um, we're going to set up a little theater so that they can show off uh, some of the short films they've made, some of the video production that they've put together, and also some of the animations. Is so. that normal for high school students to have accessibility to a class on animation? It seems so advanced for me. I didn't have that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think it's one of the real advantages of, of Barnstable. You know, we have, uh, we have nine teachers, and um, we have a bunch of different options that, um, that students can enjoy, from fashion design to animation. We have woodworking. We have the fine arts, of course, but we also have, um, you know, there's some depth and some breadth to the department that can go a bunch of different ways. Great ceramics department. Wonderful. Well, the show is, uh, of course, Friday, May 19th. Can't wait. Uh, and th tell me what time it happens. It's 5 to 7. And is the public invited to attend? Anybody. Come on by. Uh, there'll be refreshments. Who doesn't like a little finger food? And uh, it, there'll be a lot of different pieces to the show to enjoy. I think there'll be a, something for everybody there. Wonderful. Can't wait for everyone to come by and enjoy it. And uh, wish these seniors the best of luck as they move forward in their, in their career path. It should be a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. My guest today is Matt Kemp. He is the head of the Applied Technology Art and Applied Technology Department at Barnes Supply School.